hello guys okay okay so i i, I just want us to look at uh, boom and crash i just want to show you how smc works on boom and crash okay so uh, i know boom and crash is a is a special special market but smc still works here all right you just need to apply the same the same principles that you've been applying all this time okay you don't have to change anything just because it's boom and crash all right so uh, like 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 we say in boom you have to buy in crash you have to sell and in boom we are looking for a bullish market so yeah this has been mm -hmm, this has been bullish okay so what did we say first first you look for market direction it's bullish yeah it's bullish so you're you're okay and then after after doing that uh you look for where the, there was a where there was okay let's just draw it i guess mm -hmm. bms mm, let me just say boss okay there was a break of structure here here there was a break of structure all right after that after after a break of structure what, what do you look for now you look for inducement where is your inducement okay the inducement is right here so you draw your inducement okay this is boom you draw your what your inducement this is inducement mm -hmm okay after inducement what do you do you look for what your point of interest and as we can see just below the inducement there's a what there's a fair value gap which is good okay so we just have to identify what uh our order block first since we already have a fair value gap so the order block is right here this small guy here okay that's our order block and then you do this yeah now uh okay the extreme order block is is down here you can you can draw that one also but okay so after drawing your order block now you start looking for a what for a buy setup now <sighs> okay so this is what you do now guys okay the market doesn't have to necessarily touch the order block for you to take a trade okay this is boom and crash so if you're looking for a buy setup and then you go to the one minute time frame you see those those spikes won't give you a, a, a valid buy setup that i can guarantee you so for boom and crash what you have to do is uh, just to be on the safe side okay since you've already discovered the inducement and there's a fair value gap there so a fair value gap will be more useful compared to the order blocks. Okay, it will be more useful. And in in any market, like I keep telling you, an order block, yes, we use it to we use it for entries, but it's not your primary uh, point of interest. Okay, your primary point of interest is a fair value gap. Without a fair value gap, you don't have another block okay we just use another block to refine your entries okay and to you know to to make your your your, your, your what your risk your risk uh smaller okay so here what you do is you just pull out your fib your fib retracement fib retracement like this okay okay all right so in boom you have to buy in in a discount when the when the when the price is cheap okay and discount is always under what under 0 0.5 under the 50 percent here everything down here is cheap okay it's your discount so this is what i do now the moment it touches your 50 you don't have you don't need to take it trade, okay since you you have to remember that your inducement is here 
So whatever decision you are going to make within this fib retracement, it should be below your inducement here. All right. So since uh, 0 0.618 was below inducement, I was just waiting for for what for price to hit the what 0 0.618. I actually what I do is I just set I, I I really don't like looking at the charts a lot. Okay. So what I do is I just set uh, a buy limit on 0 0.618 and then put my what my take profit here. Okay. So one trade is going to be on 0 0.618 okay and then the extreme trade I, I i i just take two trades okay my extreme trade just in case it reaches this extreme order block here i also place my what my buy my buy limit right here okay and then the the stop loss will be here for both okay for both yes that's that's why i know the 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 difference uh, it's 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 a bit different from volatility okay for volatility you really have to refine your your what your stop losses okay but here just to be on the safer side you really have to put it just down here because if the market if the market kills this zone it means we are going into a downtrend okay so you are on the safer side still all right so let me just remove this okay so it hits your 0 0.618 your take profit is okay take profit is just on, on your what on your last uh on your last high this is where they so it takes out your profit your your your, your take profit is hit okay actually see this is where this is where the entry was okay take profit is hit and then comes back again we are still in an uptrend okay and the fact is this has not been hit yet this was the block here so you can you, be, you can be taking trades right here okay as you go on so it hits the 0 0.6 where this 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 was another trade now for this one the take profit was here since the high was here all right this one has been taken out okay this taken out and then you start waiting again you start waiting again still waiting again until the order block gets hit the take pro i know this is this was a big move it was going all the way up it was going away but you you really don't need to chase it you really don't need to chase it okay just place your take profit here and get out of the trade that's <laughs> that's how you keep your composure okay you are losing you are not losing anything if if, if the market is going it's the market keeps going up keeps going you, you are not losing anything all right just just let it go away okay so this has been done so here right here there's a break of structure here mm. what's happening okay here there's a break of structure as you can see after a break of structure what do you do you look for inducement where is inducement inducement is here okay so your inducement is here as you can clearly see inducement is a you start doing what you start working for in waiting for inducement to be taken out so where's your first poi so for poi we always say look for a fair value gap right after inducement where's your fair value gap where can you see a fair value gap just after inducement you have a fair value gap just here right here okay so what do you do you mark this this is this is another block okay this is another block uh, this is an what this is another block 
I really want to show you something here. Okay. That's another block. Where is another? Where, where can we see another other block? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? <laughs> so this is your extreme other block. I only mark two other blocks. Okay. I don't want you to mark this. This one here, no. Just mark two other blocks, okay? I'll show you what's happening. Okay, this is your extreme order block. This is your extreme order block right here. All right. So now, now I'm sure you're asking now, but this one here, it just went through it. This order block, it just the market just went through it. So is isn't it okay to just mark here? Okay. <laughs> First of all, this order block, I didn't even mark it, but I just want to show you where the order blocks are. Okay. Now, this is how you enter. Like I said, you have to pull out your what? Your fibs. Okay. So you take your fibs, low to the high. Okay. Your high is here. Okay. Now, have you seen where this order block is? This order block right here. Where is it? This order block is in the premium, and you don't take a trade in a premium when you are when you are buying boom, okay? So you might as well just just do what delete it. You only start, uh, you only start buying when you are in the what, in a discount, okay? And I said that for me personally, uh, I like taking a trade when it when when it hits zero point six one. And I just take two trades, 0 0.61 and where the extreme order block. Those are my two trades that I take. Okay, so here there was a buy limit. It hits it. My take profit was just here. I don't, I don't chase, <laughs> I don't chase the market, guys. If it goes, it goes. Okay. That's none of my business. As long as I've I've got I've gotten out with my profits, I'm okay. Okay. That's what you should also be doing. Okay. It really teaches you how to be patient and disciplined. Okay. And I I really I really hope you you are understanding this. All right. Okay. Let's delete this. Let's delete these things. Uh, okay. I think even ye. Ah, okay. It says, okay. So where was the the BOS? The BOS was here. This is your BOS. This is what you need to be doing every day. Okay. After break of structure, what do we look for? What did we see? <laughs> After break of structure, you look for inducement. Where is your inducement? This leg, where is your inducement? You just you just need to mark one inducement. Your first inducement, where is it? This is your first inducement right here. Come on. This is your inducement right here. Okay. Okay. So that needs to be cleared out, okay? The moment it's cleared out, what do you do? What do you do the moment it's cleared out? I mean, sorry, 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 sorry. Your first inducement is here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm also human. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is your first inducement. I didn't even see it because the market came like this and then started going down, breaking here. Okay, so this is your first inducement right here. Okay. Okay, so after inducement, what do you look for? You look for your fair value gap. Where is the fair? There's there's a fair value gap right here. So where is your order block? This this is not your order block here. This guy is not your order block. In fact, 
this whole thing this is going to be your what your order block this whole thing but if you've been listening to what i've been telling you this you won't even mark it if you've been listening why not because if you've been listening because let me show you when we pull out the the fibs wait okay yeah we pull out the fibs as you can see this thing here this thing here is is not in what it's not in the discount this is not our area our area as i told you we are looking for a what a 0 0.61 okay we are looking for a 0 0.61 if you go for this is equilibrium okay this area is what equilibrium what mostly happens is uh, uh even even if it's uh, in a range most markets if it's in a in a range you see a market uh, just playing around the 50 percent because it can decide whether to be in premium or to be in discount okay it will just be playing around this area okay so no wonder i don't advise for you to just take a trade the moment it 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 bounces on your 50 no okay so for you to be on the safe safe side okay at least it should hit 0 0.61 okay so this is what happened 0 0.61 hit here okay as i told you i only take two trades just two okay 0 0.61 hit and where is our extreme order block the extreme order block is right here this is the extreme order block right here okay so my buy limit is just just on this extreme order block okay and then the stop loss down here all right so the extreme order block is hit the market starts running starts running rallying up the take profit is here for both for, for both trades okay for this trade and this trade the take profit is here so the take profit taken i'm out there's no reason for me to stay in that trade okay i'm out i need to wait for what again <sighs> guys this this is how the cycle goes like you can you can do this every day <laughs> you don't even need to be rushing to be drawing things that don't even make sense no okay so here let me show you. maybe just 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 the last one uh okay this is a break of structure mm -hmm. a break of structure what do we look for come on what do we, <laughs> what do we look for okay after break of structure we look for inducement where is the inducement the inducement is right here yeah. okay after inducement after inducement what do you look for you look for you look for what another block another block should have a what a fair value gap okay so here here is your first order block right here this is your first order block this guy right here this is your first order block okay okay and the extreme order block is here it was not even hit i can't even tell if if these are on the same level or what let me do this okay here's your lower low it went like this and then came back all right okay okay this whole thing is another block actually this whole thing since this guy is actually inside this long thing okay this guy okay 
Now, guys, remember this. Order blocks are only going to be there for, I, I, I call them, <laughs> they are like just for security. Okay. What you have to look at, you really need to look at your what? Your fair value gaps. You need to pay attention to your fair value gaps and your fibs when you are dealing with a boom and crash. As long as you have inducement. Okay. So here, when you pull out your inducement here, from this low to your high right here, Okay, so this this was this was your first entry, and where where is your second entry? Now, if you have if when you have, let me show you this. Let me show you this. I don't want you to start asking the comment section again. When you have a big order block like this, let's do it. Ah, uh, come on. I have a big order block like this. Okay. You, you can still refine it. Okay. You don't have to enter your trade here. No, don't do that. Okay. You can still refine it. You can still get your, your fibs. Okay. Hey, okay. You can still get your fibs from its low to the high. Of that candle okay at least cut it in half all right so you can either enter on 0 0.5 or 0 0.618 now for me as you know i i always prefer 0 0.618 it's it's just more practical you know it's just more cheap okay so as you can see and you, you can see the precision Okay, it's so precise to a point you 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 think that it's mag it's magic at work. Okay, so here it hits zero point six so and immediately immediately it spiked. Okay, and then went came down hit the fifty, went up came down again hit the fifty and then started going up. So your take profit is here. So you have two trades here. The 0 0.618 was somewhere here and then you have this one here okay so again your your take profit your your profit was taken guys this is how you have to do it okay so uh what you have to remember is um for for this market all the markets that have candles <laughs> Let me just say that the market that I've kept was okay. SMC works, okay. You just need to know how to use them, okay. Don't 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 just uh, uh don't 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 treat this market such as the boom and crash. Don't give it a special treatment. No, you have to kill these things. You just need to kill these things, okay. There's no there's no there's absolutely no reason for you to be losing for I, I don't know some of you come for three two spikes and then you are out three two spikes and then you are out and then when you go into a loss you lose big you lose i mean you win you win small and then lose big you win small that's not healthy it's not healthy guys <laughs> okay it's not healthy at all so so this is what you have to remember, okay? One, direction of the market. If it's in boom, it needs to be an uptrend, bullish market. If it's in crash, it needs to be a downtrend, bearish market. So after you identify your market direction, you have to identify where your, your break of structure is. Immediately after break of structure, start looking for inducement. After inducement, where is your fair value gap? Your fair value gap is there an order block? Draw your order block. It's fine. But always remember, your order block is not your primary point of interest. Okay? Especially in boom and crash. 
after your order block has uh, your order block has been drawn you pull out your what your fibonacci a fibonacci is go is it's really going to help you a lot here okay it's really a fibonacci is not an indicator okay it's just a, a drawing tool it's just it just helps you even without a fibonacci you can tell just by looking that okay this 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 is equilibrium this is a premium this is discount you can tell but I, since you since you guys are beginners please try to use your your fibs okay this is this, this is the only time the fibs are going to be very very helpful for you okay so after you draw your fib make sure if it's in boom your market your entries should be in discount okay if it's in crash your entries should be in what in premium okay guys i hope i hope this is going to help uh if you have any more questions you can put them in the comment section otherwise i think i'm out this has been Dion Trades and I hope this video helps you in your financial in your in your financial journey. Alright guys, wishing you a profitable trade. <sighs> Alright, until next time.